Yo, good morning. Welcome to the Greg Troxel Show. Welcome to another quarantine commentary with coffee. Yes, that's a Mickey mug because I love Disney World. I love Mickey Mouse. You ain't got to, but if you don't, you don't like Disney, you don't like Mickey, log off. You can't be my friend. Okay, for those of you who are magical and who are believers in the mouse, welcome to the Greg Troxel Show. Anyway, I want to talk to you a little bit about this week and some things that I challenged my team with and some things I challenged myself with during this quarantine, during this crazy time we're in, right? I mean, just unprecedented. Some things that we just never see, have never seen coming. So, one of the things I challenge people with is about this commute. You know, we all have this shorter commute now. We got this 10 second, 15 second, 30 second, three second commute. So we're saving time. So I've challenged my team to, to really think about that time and, and what do you do with it? Are you sleeping? Are you just rolling out of bed, going right to work? What are you doing with this time you're saving? Because you're saving a lot. I know I am. I'm saving like over two hours a day. A day. Time in the morning, time at night. And some of it I've wasted. Straight up wasted. I mean, some of it, <laughs> I've sat on TikTok. And you can get sucked into TikTok. You get sucked into YouTube. Some of it I've slept. But what I started to do is started to challenge myself in the mornings to get up, spend some of that time doing devotionals, doing doing some alone time, doing some, some time to myself, to better me, to get my mind right, to get moving in the right direction. So last week during one of my devotionals, something hit me big time, man. You see, we're all dealing with anxiety during this time. All of us. You're dealing with anxiety. I deal with anxiety. Even Mickey is dealing with anxiety during this time. we It's unsure things, man. It's certain things that happen that we're not sure about. And then we're, our, our, our schedules are different and our lives are different. And we're not able to go to sporting events like we used to or concerts or to, to school. And we have people in our house that we have to educate now that we're not prepared to educate. We have new appreciation for teachers and, the, and those teachers want to be around our kids and, and they have an anxiety. The, as we go to work, we have an anxiety because now we work from home. Those who've never done it, it creates anxiety. Um, we're cooking a lot more. We're not going out to eat as much. And those people who can't cook or are not used to cooking creates anxiety. We all got it. We have ups and downs. We've got just uncertainties. I mean, here in Georgia, they're opening up certain things. People are flipping out. And some people are like, awesome. It creates anxiety, it creates conflict. But during this devotional, it came up and it said, anxiety weighs down the heart. Like anxiety jumps into your heart and into your soul, into your body. It, it brings us down. It hurts. It creates stress. Some of us eat during that time frame. Some of us exercise during that time frame. Some of us just binge watch something or try to escape the world. Some of us pray. Some of us do different things. How can we get out of that anxiety? But here's the thing, it still weighs down our hearts and weighs down our souls and it gets down deep if we allow it. But in this, in, in what I was reading, it says anxiety weighs down the heart, but a kind word cheers it up. And that hit me because if you think about it, when you have had that anxiety and you get that text message, a smile on your face. It could be hi. You get that Snapchat. It could be hello or a little picture, a little meme saying, hey, I'm thinking about you. It could be a Facebook message. It could be an IG message. It could be a, you tagged in something in, on IG. All these things or a WhatsApp story that you're tagged in. 
these messages, these, these small nuggets of communication can cheer you up. And so if it can cheer me up to receive one of these messages, if it can cheer me up to receive a communication, if it can cheer me up, then maybe my message to you, to someone else, can cheer them up. So, think about that. Maybe, maybe that one little message, that one little nugget, that one little thought changes somebody's day. It puts a smile on their face. They they cheer up just a little bit. You never know how you affect somebody. So what I did is I challenged my team, but more importantly, I challenged myself to reach out to more people, to say, hello, how are you doing? How are you doing during this craziness? How, how are you dealing with it? How are you passing the time? And the responses have been cool. And then I've gotten responses and people asking me and people I haven't talked to all the time. And it's just really nice to know your thought of. And it's nice to think of others. So here's my challenge to you. And I challenged my team this last week. Right now, right now, get your piece of paper, get your phone out or your iPad or whatever you use and write down five names. Just five. The first five that come to your mind. Just the first five. Doesn't even matter who they are. The first five. Write them down. And send them a message today. Just say, hey, how are you doing? How are you doing during this craziness? How are you passing the time? How are you spending your weekends? I mean, think about those of us who have kids in sports and in dance and in activities. Our weekends were booked like we were traveling and we were moving and we were shaking and we had practices and we had stuff going on and now we don't what do we do with that time ask them just reach out to your friend reach out to a, an acquaintance reach out to somebody you haven't spoke to in a while write down those five names just five reach out if you were to take it to the next level tomorrow morning write down another five can't do five do three. do three do what you can because again we all have that anxiety and that anxiety weighs us down and brings down the heart but a kind word can cheer it right back up it could be a comment on an IG picture or a Facebook post or Snapchat story. It could be a reply. Do it. Bring up everybody else because we're all dealing with it. This thing's gonna be over with. And my next commentary, I know what we're gonna talk about. About this getting back to normal. We ain't getting back to normal. We're not going back to how it was. It's gonna change. And that's okay. Embrace it. But today, get you some coffee, sit down, get your phone out, reach out to those five people, and tell them to have a wonderful day. Just like I'm telling you, we getting through this, and on the other side of it, we're going to have a blast, y'all. And I'm going back to Disney World. I'm going back to see Mickey and all my Disney friends. Until next time, thanks for watching right here on the Greg Troxel Show, a quarantine commentary, and I will see you later. Peace.